this one we're going to do with tables. Um, we're going to be this function. Let's make an x, y table. So y will equal the square root of x plus 1 for x's that are between negative 1 and 3. So I'm going to put in x's between negative 1 and 3. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And for this other guy, I'll have an x, and y is going to be x minus 5 for... So y is going to be x minus 5 when x is greater than 3. So like 3, 4, 5, etc. Um, I'm not allowed to equal the 3 here. There's no line underneath it. So I'm going to put a circle there. And on my graph I'll have an open circle. But we'll get to that. So now, just plugging in these values in the table. So here, I'm going to have... Plugging in a negative 1, square root of negative 1 plus 1 is the square root of 0, so 0. So I'll have the point negative 1, comma, 0. And then, let me switch some colors here or something, I don't know. Plugging in the 0, I'll have the square root of 0 plus 1 is the square root of 1, which is 1, so I'll have the point 0, 1. Plugging in a 1, I'll have the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2, which is not very nice, I'm not going to worry about him. Plugging in a 2, I'll have the square root of 2 plus 1, which is the square root of 3, which is not very nice, I'm going to not worry about him. Plugging in the 3, I'll have the square root of 3 plus 1, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. That gives me a nice point, 3, 2. Cool. Coming over here, let's plug it in. Plug it in the 3. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. 4 minus 5 is minus 1. 5 minus 5 is 0. That's giving me the points. 3, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 5, and 0. So now, we're going to graph all these points. Um, and it's going to help to know that the square root of x, right? We know that the square root, we're expecting something that looks like that. This is y equals x minus 5. We're expecting just a line. So hopefully we see enough points that these shapes start to come Forth. So, plotting them piece by piece, I want to plot negative 1, 0. Let me just write my points down here. So I have negative 1, 0, 0, 1, and 3, 2 from the first guy. So I wrote them down here, and I'm going to plot them up here. So this is negative 1, 0, 0, 1, and 3, 2. So, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, 2. And it stops there. So it starts here, stops there. And that's the first guy. So now we go to our second guy. Uh, 3, negative 2, 4, negative 1, and 5, 0. So I'm going to plug in those points, 3, negative 2, 4, negative 1, and 5, 0. Remember I had a circle there representing that this point here was going to be an open dot. So when I get to 3, negative 2, I'm going to make an open dot there, because I wasn't allowed to equal it. It was strictly for things that were greater than 3. But it's a nice boundary, so I'll plot it. So 3, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 5, 0. And that, I was expecting just a line for that point. Oops, just a line connecting those points. Because that was x minus 5, and that's a 
line. So that final whole picture, that weird piecewise function, that's the graph. Enjoy. <laughs>